All right, guys, so um, I might do some like World War II gas masks for today's video. So uh, first one, what's up? Um, let me get it. It has a hose and stuff. Just give me a second. Got it from a surplus store. This is my um, M3 gas mask. And uh, here's a filter for it in the hose. It kind of looks like this front view. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, I they most soldiers probably use a different style of one. This one's probably used more for like, um, you know, chemical stuff, like cleaning things and stuff probably. Back then you see in pictures if you look that up, but uh, yeah. And then I have this uh, French one from like 1924. You uh, may be able to see that date on it. Do not know if you can see that. So basically, yeah, um, this gas mask I put on, but the rubber's cracking. And I, if you're asking why I didn't put take it off the mannequin heads, because I'm going to do that later. I'm going to make sure I don't break the straps because it's really old. This filter is one of my dangerous filters in my collection. I don't know if you can hear it, but kind of like a salt shaker. It's got asbestos and probably dirt and, and glass and stuff in there. So I would not mess with it, like breathing through it wise. But yeah, there's that. Then, um, here's my, uh, two World War II German gas mask. Let me get this open. Um, first one is the one that I got. It doesn't come with a strap, but this is all original. This is for the, uh, Spanish Civil War that was fought from, like, 1936 to 1939. Basically, they asked Germany for help for gas masks because they started using gas, I think, in the war. So um, got, uh, Germany basically took their basic designs and made it a little bit cheaper, and this is basically what they came up with, which is pretty much, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty much their gas mask. It has that strap system, and then, you know, it has a thing that clips around on it, and then the, you know, the neck strap, keep it on your neck. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much it on that, so the can looks like. This system's more like a latch, and uh, kind of looks like just normal there. Now, this is the more interesting piece. Um, this is my actual original World War II German, like they, the Germans use this. And um, basically, it has the same features. Neck strap, um, head system to put on your head, and, uh, you know, the thing to um, clip it around your neck to keep it secure. This has a newer filter on it, but um, here's the older one. kind of looks like that, and it's got a little, you know cap on the top of it so yeah kind of looks like that and i'll put it over there but yeah here's the mask kind of looks like that the filter on the newer filters work on these so that's pretty cool and uh, yeah for the sake of this video i will try putting it on for you just give me a second put that on my neck and this might take you a minute getting the straps on There it goes. Better not to have long hair for gas mask use, but I just need to get a haircut, so whatever. Yeah, pretty much works like this, and, um, yeah. There's the lenses, and everything seems to work pretty much. It's a really good condition for a gas mask that's like 80 or 70 years old, so I would say A plus for that. Yeah, pretty much, uh, this one, they... This, they made better ones where it was all rubber. This is more like a cloth with sprayed rubber in it, if you can see that in the mask. That kind of looks like that inside of it. And uh, yeah, here's a gas mask can. Um, this is, hold on, let me show you something called this. This was kind of like, um, it's like a, almost like a springy metal thin thing that goes on the top of it. You know, put it in the top, I think it's secure. And you can also pop the hook to it, I think, the mask itself. This is the uh, lenses with it, and um, yeah, here's here's inside the can. The only difference between these gas masks, pretty much, is this the quality, and also that you know they open up completely different. These straps are not original here; these are just reproduction. But um, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's it for my uh, actual World War II gas mask so um see you in the next video